God bless America. Hello, everybody. I am the Talk Radio Protege, and this is the Protege program. The weekend is almost here. For those of you in hunting country, rifle season for white tailed deer is upon us. I am extremely excited. That's where I'll be heading out to this weekend. I hope you all will be enjoying your weekends as well. But uh, until we get to the weekend, there is this video that I would that I hope that you'll watch. Enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments when we get to the end. So this clip is from CNN and it is partially edited. I didn't spend a lot of time looking for uh, looking through CNN's YouTube page or their archives trying to find the uh, in full context clips. Uh, this is slightly edited and you'll see the flash across the screen that indicates such. But I thought that this video was a stark example of why Republican voters are reaching a point where they're willing to vote for somebody uh, who's got a number of allegations against him, namely uh, Roy Moore. In the past, uh, you know, we had, a, and I've named them before, uh, Clarence Thomas, of course, not somebody that we voted on, uh, Herman Cain, who didn't get the chance to be voted on. Finally, Republican voters seem to have uh, had enough of having their candidates destroyed by uh, innuendo of sexual impropriety. And so we elected President Donald Trump. Now that, uh, now that the original Democrat playbook of sexual impropriety has failed, uh, they've upped the ante, and now it's sexual impropriety against what were at the time underage children. Uh, and that's this is where we sit today. The average Republican voter that's not consuming uh, news as much as you or I might be uh, is watching this unfold, is seeing Roy Moore being accused by these women and uh, doesn't think about it the way that Ben Shapiro does. He do doesn't think that the little details make these women's story, uh, claims more true or more false. What they see is another one of ca their candidates that they selected being attacked with uh, sexual innuendo and sexual allegation uh, a month out of a major election. And I think that the Republican voter sees it the way that uh, Judge Moore has been saying it, that... Uh, this is a coordinated attack by his political opponents to get him out of office. Now, I've said that uh, the heat's turning up. It, it's looking, uh, it's been getting worse as more details have come out. But uh, the story continues to unfold. Uh, even more details are coming out. It turns out uh, one of Judge Moore's accusers uh, is a woman that claims to have a yearbook that's been signed by Judge Moore. Uh, I saw a photo of it at one point, but that yearbook is not being released to be examined by uh, the kind of people that are experts at that thing. So uh, more doubt is creeping into uh, these allegations where initially uh, doubt was being erased as the story continued to unfold. Now that it... Uh, is unfolding further, in my humble opinion, doubt is slowly being erased in favor of Judge Moore as opposed to the women. That all being said, let's get into this video from CNN. It's very short. Uh, I'll interrupt it a little bit so as to not, uh, so as to try and avoid copyright issues. Here we go. Out of the gate, the fact that you have Gloria, you know, the, the Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer, right, from the left and the right, both saying there needs to be an ethics investigation. I realize that this was years and years ago, this story, mm -hmm. uh, and he was a private citizen at the time. Stop. Okay. Uh, th this is the kind of thing that if a, if a right-wing commentator, if this was the Fox News, uh, Fox and Friends, or The Five, or what have you, and everybody's sitting around and they're talking about 
Judge Moore, and they say, you know, there's attacks coming from the left and from the right, and we need to have an ethics committee investigation, but at the same time, you'll have to acknowledge that these allegations happened years and years ago. That would be the kind of thing that would be slammed by people like Cenk Uger and the Young Turks as quote-unquote rape apology. So, to be fair, I'm going to label Brooke Baldwin and her cohorts here on the, this CNN panel as rape apologist. Is, is, is that fair of me to do? Yeah, no, it's not. I'm just being facetious. It, so, uh, let's just continue on here. Remember, they're, talk, they're talking about Al Franken, but if you didn't know that and you heard that bite, you might think they were talking about Judge Moore. I mean, his alleged mis uh, his alleged misconduct happened even farther in the past than Al Franken's did. But can he survive this? It remains to be seen. I mean, I, I w we should say that uh, Leanne did not call for him to step down. Or now that's funny. <laughs> um, apparently, I, I think the one on the right there is uh, Baldwin. Apparently, Brooke Baldwin and. Uh, Al Franken's accuser are on a first name basis. Apparently, Brooke Baldwin knows exactly. Well, maybe it's this. I think it, maybe it's Gloria Borger that's talking right now. Apparently, she and Leanne are on a first name basis, and she knows exactly what Leanne wants to happen. And uh, since Leanne didn't call for Al, Al Franken to step down to be removed from office, then he shouldn't have to be removed from office. If that's the case, I don't think uh, any of Roy Moore's accusers have called for him to get out of the race or have called for him to uh, drop out. So uh, maybe Judge Moore shouldn't be forced out of his race either. Say that she thought he ought to step down, and when she was told that they had to have an, they were having an ethics committee investigation, she said that's on them. And he and, says, yes, I will uh, right. participate. And, and I think... Look and that's interesting also. Uh, that you, you know, at, at first glance, when Al Franken says, sure, uh, bring up an ethics committee investigation mm -hmm. into me, that might sound like he's trying to be cooperative. It might sound like uh, he's, he's playing the cooperation card. But at the same time, as uh, Ben Shapiro rightly uh, observed on, uh, on Louder with Crowder, that uh, from last night, the number of senators who have actions taken against them by an ethics committee is zero. <laughs> okay, if if you're investigated by an ethics committee, that's the best thing that can happen to you as a bad senator because it means nothing's going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. It, it, not only that, those ethics committee investigations are a year minimum. And by the time we get a year out of an invest of you know, the breaking of a controversy like this, nothing is going to happen. Look, we have to look at the context in which all of this is What's occurring, the which is more. Oh, Judge Moore. Of course, and it is. that has been you know brewing and percolating, whatever you want to say, for days and days and days. Yeah, yeah. This is hold just on, hold on. In the words of this. Mrs. Hillary Rodham Clinton, what difference at this point does it make what the context of these allegations are? I assume that's what she's talking about, is the context of the allegations is that days before, there have been revelations of allegations against a Republican. Therefore, we don't have to do anything about Al Franken. The, the Republicans have to get their guy sorted out first, and then we can worry about Al Franken. Or maybe it's that she wants Franken to have more time for uh, more details to emerge about these allegations. I don't know. Maybe uh, his accuser has told all of the details. Maybe there are no more details to emerge, seeing as Al Franken basically admitted to doing everything. The, his, 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 uh, re his apology was, I don't remember the rehearsal the same way she does. <laughs> okay? And... He, uh, that's, a.k.a., that's not an apology, that's not a denial. Kind of scratching the surface here. He was not a member of Congress at the... Oh, then he should be accused. Or, accused, excused, excuse me. <laughs> 
He's He was a private citizen. He wasn't a member of Congress. Therefore, he should be excused of these wrongdoings. These these allegations should have no bearing on Mr. Franklin whatsoever. Meanwhile, Roy Moore, he was an, he was an assistant district attorney, Democrat, when he was doing his wrong things, and he's not now a senator, but he's running, so he must now be punished worse than Al Franken. Time this occurred, he was just a comedian. Oh! Right? Just a comedian, you say? Well, um, I seem to remember uh, a certain comedian who was criticized heavily for his... Oh, uh, uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Can't remember the word. His uh, joking handling of uh, rape jokes. The name was Daniel Tosh, I believe. Uh, yeah, comedians don't get a free pass when it comes to attacking Democrat women. Democrat comedians, especially the late-night talk show comedians, get a free pass on a lot. A.K.A. Sarah Palin. But they do not ever get a pass on going after Democrat women that I can recall. Um, we'll see if her coming out gives other women sort of you know, more purpose and allows them to talk about people who are currently in positions of power who could affect them. Franken has no effect. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Leanne coming out and making her statement gives power to other women to come out and make statements about men who are currently positioned in a position of power, she says, as if Al Franken is not in a position of power. It, it, am I hearing this the same way that you all are hearing this? Is this... Uh, we have to keep going because it gets more ridiculous. ...on her at this particular time in hold, her life. Hold on. I'm going to back that up because I interrupted a brief part of that s statement. ...who could affect them. Franken has no effect on her at this oh. particular time in her life. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult for women who are working in the Congress, but I think what you're going to see is more and more of this as we've seen around the country. Now, you guys don't want to see this. Out of the gate. The um, okay. Th think through this with me. Al Franken doesn't have any more power over uh, over his accuser. And that's why she decided she needed to come out. And now, you know, who who is this that was making the comments? Gloria Borger. I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's Gloria Borger is making these comments. And it's Gloria Borger's hope that this will empower women who are currently working in Congress under these uh, congressmen that are evil, sexual abusing men to come out and accuse congressmen of groping them, of doing improper things to them. Now, who wants to place bets with me? The, I, I don't know what the odds are because you, know, you get a, you get a uh, call to action of sorts. Now, this isn't technically a call to action, but uh, you, you know how the saying goes. Uh, you get people uh, calling Republican, saying that Republicans literally have bloods on their hand, blood on their hands long enough, and then you get at least one person that literally assaults Republican congressmen because of that rhetoric. You know, Assu assuming, you know, the the left talks all the time about how people, especially uh, people that listen to right wing talk radio, are mind numbed robots, and we don't have an opinion unless Rush Limbaugh gives it to us. But by the same token, the people that listen to them, they think for themselves, they're not sheeple. They don't just get their opinions programmed into them by the entire left-wing media that is always in lockstep and never changes their opinions one from another. And yet it's their people that act 
on their rhetoric, the way that they expect Republicans to act on Republican rhetoric. So I, I, I don't know what the odds would be, but who wants to place bets? I'm willing to bet that there will be more women come forward to accuse congressmen of sexual impropriety. But are they going to come out against Democrats and be genuine? Or are they going to come out against Republicans and have their marching orders given to them by the mainstream media? Place your bets in the comments below. Let me know what you think think that's going to do it for this video that's going to do it for this week thank you so much for joining me uh have a great fantastic weekend i hope that you'll come back on monday uh as we will continue to cover the news uh next week is a uh, holiday week i will not uh be in town i won't be in front of my computer uh for a lot of the time on uh thursday and friday next week so um, let me know if you guys would like to see uh, old news come up in those videos. I could record those ahead of time and schedule them for release. Or uh, if you'd like, I could try to set some time aside and do some research, record a video, and get a, a story out there in the heat of Thursday and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, which will be Monday. Good night, have a fantastic weekend, and God bless.